Hello. Trying a 60 frames per second stream today. If it's bad, tell me it's bad, okay? Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Blair. Oh my god, hi, Potato. Can we get some yo's? Also, I guess Dream Elements is just like, fuck you, Megan. It's not working. Badge. And hello, everybody. Welcome in, welcome in. Dude, I'm so nervous. No, I didn't say bye. Oh, wait, I did. <laughs> I, I misclicked. I misclicked. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cancelled. I mean, you guys want to do that anyway. Also, I made the chat a little bit bigger. 60 FPS is working fine in your phone? Yeah, I have two phones already. Two phones. When I was- because well, I did a test stream right before, that's why I'm a little bit late. And it, it, it was- on my old phone, it was like glitching. But then on my new phone, it sounded fine. So, I don't know what the deal is. So, if it's weird at all today, Tell me. Two phones? I know. Guys, I'm rich. I have two phones, two laptops. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot to tweet that I'm live. Oopsie. One for chat and one for friends? True. True, true, true. Two switches? I do not have two switches. My my sister has two switches. Because technically the one I use for stream is hers. And then um the one I use for that she has, she has an OLED. I don't know. She has two switches. Not me. Not me. You say two double life? Dude, imagine. I'd be farming more if I needed to. <laughs> You know what sucks is that there's no autocorrect for when you type in all caps. It literally took me two minutes to type out my goal of tweet and it's literally like five words. Cringe. You know what else is cringe? Not watching stream. I'll be live in- we'll wait one more minute. We'll wait one more minute. It says my stream is good. Decent salon stream when? Never. I'm never gonna dye my hair. I, I like the natural look, you know? Also, is stream elements still bad? Oh, stream elements is back in the chat, everybody. I came here assuming many story times. I mean, it's been a while since we've seen you in chat, Potato, so he's probably missed a lot of lore. Unless you've been lurking, which is great. He has no stories? No, I do. I only have stories. What else am I besides... Stories? Am I nothing? If I have no life experience, then... Is it all for naught? Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. <laughs> Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Why is the camera so... I need to fix it. Sorry. Okay, that's a little bit better. I had to use my camera for filming and taking pictures. Catfishing? Oh, wait, what did I do? Chat is a little bit bigger. 
So, mobile watches, you can see a little bit better. Um, the vest is red. Thank you, Brian. Welcome in. I like this a lot. This was actually one of my mom's, like, old jean jackets, but then I cut off the sleeves. Edgy. Um, we had Nyx, Kobobo, Hacker, Potato. And the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. I appreciate you all. Today, I have a few announcements. A few very cool announcements now i know i've been leaking so you guys probably know what it is if you follow my twitter or if you can't tell by the shit back here but this friday yes finally this friday everybody what is this ain't no way M oh wait <laughs> i almost messed up the url PeaceInArt.myshopify.com will be live this Friday at 12 p.m. PST. So, everybody, exclamation shop and chat. I want to get a million clicks on the website today. So, make sure you bookmark it today. I don't know. I just feel like bookmarking would be very cool and fun. That way you can easily find the site whenever you want to look at my paintings or maybe buy one. I don't know. We'll see. So, everybody, bookmark the page today. That way you can easily find it on Friday. Um, when you click on this site, you'll have an entry message that says, Oh, it's not public yet. But don't worry, it will be published live on stream this Friday. Because I will be doing a special launch stream on Friday. So, this is posted on at peace and underscore art on Twitter. Make sure you're following because I have separate accounts than my stream accounts for it. So... Yes, wow. <laughs> My mom and I are starting a small gallery. Oh, that's adorable. Sorry, that's cute. <laughs> so, this Friday at 11 a.m. on this channel, everybody, this channel, peace in underscore 17 on Twitch, I will be hosting a giveaway to... S I cannot talk. To celebrate the launch of peaceinart.myshopify.com. Let's go. So, the stream will start at 11. The website does launch at 12, so we'll all get to look at it together at the same time. Tell your family, tell your friends. Retweets are appreciated, everybody. <laughs> Peace out to Rich Real. You're going to get rich as an artist. I'm, we'll go into more detail on Friday as to what my plans are. I, I'm not going to leak what my marketing strategy will be, but I'll be as transparent as I can. So that stream will be on Friday, everybody. I will be giving away... Over $300 worth of prizes. Wow. Ain't no way. <laughs> so that will include a free painting of a winner's choice. I'll give away... Should I give... I'll give away three gift cards. I'll give away three gift cards. Everybody, I'm taking three... <laughs> Wait, did I put 3,000? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's 300, not 3,000. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, Cokes. Welcome in. You can imagine. How much... $3,000? That's like... Because an average painting is $200. Um, we'll go into more details on that on Friday. Because what I will be selling is... Wait, let's go full cam. I actually really like the picture that was in this tweet. Like, honestly, I think the, the focus is really cool. Also, so for the giveaway, you don't have to follow my channel. You don't have to follow my Twitter. I think those type of plugs are cringe. All you need to do is watch the stream on Friday, and the giveaways will be... You don't have to pay to enter, it's free to enter. All you need is your Twitch channel points. So, everybody, I am still deciding the prices, but I think for the free painting, entry will be 5,000 channel points, and then for gift cards, it'll be 1,000 channel points. So if you want to win either of those two, Make sure you save your channel points, because for this first giveaway, I want it to go to people who have been supporting me for the past almost a year, right? I don't want some Randall coming in and just getting a $50 gift card, you know what I mean? So, save your channel points this week. Stream will be on Friday. At first, I thought you were giving away the paints. I know, that's why, like... Because the first picture for this tweet, I had the art supplies in focus, but see how I have the background in focus here? So, <laughs> that's why I, because I was just going to be like, oh my god, giveaway, but then I was like, oh, I should probably say what I'm giving away. Because dude, imagine. Okay, honestly, 
this little, this, okay, so the varnish is like $10 for that bottle, and then that bottle of paint, literally $20 for how many ounces? Like, fucking 14 ounces of paint, $20, it's expensive, like, it's insane, and acrylic paint is, oops, <laughs> acrylic paint is way, literally way too much. Okay, so you guys know the drill. Giveaway will be pin message in chat. It will be on Friday. Be here Friday. And if you want a chance to win a free painting or gift cards, save your channel points. Will there be multiple channel point redemptions per viewer? No! You cannot pay to win. No. No. <laughs> you wish. Dude, then Mac would literally win. They would use all their channel points. So everybody, everybody, exclamation shop in chat. Exclamation shop in chat. I want to get a million clicks today. Peace and teaches this art stream when? I will be doing... Because, like, I want to go live on the art channel more. So, I'll probably just do normal painting and maybe do a how-to once a month. You might have more than that. How many do you have, Cokes? Tell us. I know you're a lurker. How many do you have? Are we in sub only chat? No. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why do I only have subs in my chat? Okay. Um, Bob Ross vibes? I think that'd be fun. But, like, my issue is, when I paint, I found, like, the perfect angle now. I have to, um... It's really weird how I paint, because I'm, like, over my desk like this. I can't paint, like, if the canvas is here, I can't paint like this, it fucks up my wrist. So, I when I paint, I have to, like, be over my desk like this painting. I look like a little gremlin. Charge for it. Wait for affiliates so you can make it sub only. That's what I want to do at some point. But I think that's only like. I don't want to be like cancelled. I feel like I can only do that if I have like a million subs, you know? I kind of. I kind of don't like that the chat is this big, not gonna lie. It looks weird when it's large. I mean, but then there's some people. There's, like, some people who have their chat. I can't click on it. There's some people who have their chat, like, literally this big. No, they don't. They don't. They have their chat, like, half the screen. It looks ugly, not gonna lie. Okay, enough stalling. Let's play some mother freaking Mario Kart. Okay, you guys know the drill? Story times, everybody. Okay. <clears throat> I have my cue card here. <laughs> oh my god, hi Quack. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. 200 CC, I'm no wimp. Oh wait, I forgot another thing. Th this the past few weeks have been insanely busy for me. That's why I've been streaming less, but I promise it'll be great. Plan for this week. Oh wait, there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. Okay, there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. It's the Indie Showcase, so we'll react to that before we continue with... Um... What's the... What was, what's the... A space for the... The, the, the Indie game we started last week. I literally know the name. I literally know the name. But I forgot. Anyway. So, there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow that we'll react to. I'll do a one-off game on Thursday, and then the... what you call it? The... What's it called? No, yeah, the giveaway stream is Friday. Dude, I am losing my mind. I've been working literally all day, every day since Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I've been working all the days that I haven't streamed since last, so. Oh my god, plus one. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Okay, and then next week is my birthday. My birthday is Monday, April 24th. So I will be doing a 12-hour birthday stream. Smile. Everybody be there, please. I spent $70 on my cake. Anyway, it's it looks very cute. You guys will see it next week. Okay, you said play Shy Guy. I'll, I've been wanting to play Shy Guy, not gonna lie. Pink, I never do pink. It's like the same color as the bike, ew. Never mind, I'll, I'll do- I'll do white, cause white is red. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, let's see. I'll do the same as last time. I gotta practice these. <clears throat> I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Because, like, 
talking about the art stuff one time, or not one time, like since I've been working, not that I've been procrastinating everything, but I still have to take pictures, I have to update my listings, because what I primarily have been doing for the past month is looking at websites that I like in terms of layout and what information they provide. Because you know how when you look at Amazon product listings, they have like nearly 2,000 words in their product descriptions? Like it's kind of insane how much information they have. And I think that's so people can easily like find keywords. So, I've been like trying to figure out all, of, all the like time. <laughs> Nick, that sounds, this ain't your stream. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Dude, how did you get in it? I hate this track. I don't like any of the cityscape tracks. I think they're all kind of lame, not gonna lie. I drove two hours to a one-time friend? <laughs> what type of friend? <laughs> oh my god. Envy. I don't think I could ever do, like, a one-night stand. I just don't trust people, honestly. Cause, like, what if they hurt me, you know? I'm very scared of that. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, like, it sounds fun, but honestly, I, I, I'm too scared. And, like, what if it turns out that they know me? Not that I'm clouded enough for, like, people to know me, right? But what if they're like, oh my god, these are the score 17 from Twitch? <laughs> That'd be so awkward. <laughs> like, imagine. STDs are scary? Exactly! Even though it's a crime that people, that, like, they legally have to tell you, like, they can just not do it. And then you have, like, herpes. It's scary. Oh my god, hi, Kim. <laughs> Guess what? I'm gonna be evil? Evil only chat? <laughs> Thank you, Quack, for redeeming emo only chat. Now I can tell my stories in peace. Oh wait, for the birthday stream, I will be doing a Mario Kart team tournament. It will be at 3 p.m. PST. I forgot to post about it because I've been too focused on the art stuff. But it will be on next Monday, 3 p.m. If you win, if your team wins, you get VIP. Oh my- I- I forgot how insane some of these tracks are at 200. <laughs> oh my god. I like the design of this track, it's just way too difficult. It's very fun. It, to me it tests your- it tests your skill luck, so you have to be able to quickly manipulate your turns. Hit me, hit me! Oh, I wanted one of them to ricochet. That would have been a, that would have been good. <laughs> also, everybody, I don't think we're going to be able to adopt the cat. Someone else is already lined up to adopt it, unfortunately. So, you know, peace in cat, cat art is not peace in cat art is probably not happening. Dude, what am I doing? <laughs> Actually, I hate this track. And not because I'm losing. You I got two people with those shells. I'm insane. Be good. The green shell saved me from the banana, so I guess that's fair. Oh, 
Okay, everybody. How is the stream looking? It does it look good in 60 frames per second? If it looks good, put yay. If it looks bad, put nay. Cuz I I have we're testing out 60 FPS streams today. Cuz like 30 FPS is fine, but if 60 is like the way to go, then I'll do it. Cause it looks so crisp in my OBS preview. I don't see a difference. Oh. I mean, I think it, it could be because since I have the upgraded capture card for the gameplay, maybe that's why it's not as noticeable. But it's I really noticed it when I was looking at my full face cam. Because the camera, I have it set to 60 frames per second, but since the stream is set to 30, there's always gonna be like a little bit of, not lag, but that's why sometimes it may look like I'm not fully synced. Oh, I wanted to hit them in the air, that would've been crazy. As long as I can see it, then it's good for me, I guess. Okay, did anybody watch the Crater Clash? No spoilers, <laughs> but I, I purchased it on Friday, cause like, if you purchased it on Saturday, it would have been ten dollars more, and that's way too much. Oh come on! Oh dude, I wanted to see if I could trick off the air. Wait, I just realized nobody can type in chat. <laughs> dude, me asking a question and nobody can reply. Oh my god, I'm sorry. But anyway, I watched almost all the fights. I'm watching the final Idubs versus Wasabi fight right now because. Since I was working all week, I didn't have time to like sit down and watch until nighttime. And I, I fell asleep watching the six hour stream like three times. You have to pay to watch fights. It was a charity event, so any profits went towards charity. It was $25 to get to watch the stream. It's an annual event. Wait, you first ate? No way. I'm not even trying. Okay, I'll do story times now. Wait, actually, I won't. <laughs> I keep on making the mistake of like starting a story on lap three. So when I go back to like edit the clip, I'm like, why'd I do that? Now I have like. Because, okay, my TikTok is going for the Subway Surfers meta where I just talk about random shit and play a game, right? That's the meta. And people seem to really like it. Wait, did I not get first on the first race? Strange. So yesterday, I was uploading pictures and editing code for my website, right? And I literally had everything formatted perfectly the last time I edited the code, so back at like the end of February. I haven't touched the code for a month, so I was focusing on research. And I go to like edit my code, and if anybody codes themselves, you can make your assets responsive, meaning when your website goes from mobile to desktop, things will rearrange, so things will overlap. Or, like, pictures won't be cropped when your website is on mobile. So when I opened my preview site, everything was wrong. Like, my site was no longer responsive, but I was getting mad. And I was troubleshooting for literally two hours trying to figure out what I did wrong. And apparently, I only deleted a single percentage sign in my whole string of code, and it fucked everything up! <laughs> Because I was looking at tutorials, I was looking at walkthroughs, I was reviewing all my code. Because I had, I basically copied and pasted it from another site that I built. And I was getting so angry. But I, I fixed it, so it's fine now. Because <laughs> I'm obviously not a pro, because the way that the website is made, it's basically a pre-built site, but you can choose to edit the code if you like. 
maybe there was like an update to the template that I, I didn't realize did an update, but... Uh, so annoying. <laughs> so, sometimes I don't like being a STEM girly. Because I enjoy coding, I think it's kind of fun. I'm debating if I want to take like an actual class for it. But... I don't know. <laughs> But I, I also feel like coding is like the most cliche STEM career you can have right now. And I don't want to be like the rest. Wait, hold? Why am I fucking up this turn every time? I think what was interesting about this year's Crater Clash is that they didn't allow knockdowns, typically. Like, they didn't do the countdown for the knockdown, so it seemed like the fights were a lot quicker this year. Which is kind of nice. Wait, I'm in first? Holy! Easy. My cat is snuggling me. Oh, that's the dream. That's the dream. Hi, Cena. Welcome in. And no, I do not have a story like that. <laughs> oh, that was the final one. I'm excited for tomorrow's direct, though. Wait, there's no mods? Yeah, Streamlabs and Stream Elements are here, you silly. <laughs> Nobody better type the P word in chat. You don't want to see what happens then. Nah, I told myself I'd only get Twitch mods if I can afford to pay them to some capacity. Which I can't afford to pay people. Cause, okay. Since my only income is Twitch, I made less than the federal minimum to file taxes. I... I can't necessarily say the actual amount, but I made less than 1500 is what I'll say, for the whole year. Cause I usually... I, okay, what I'll say is I hit, I, I hit my, like, monthly minimum for payout every month, usually. <laughs> so, I didn't have to file taxes this year again, yay! Because, like, I still filled out the form, I just didn't submit it, because they were like, oh, your refund is going to be zero dollars. So then it's like, why am I going to pay to file if I'm going to get literally nothing, when I only made less than 1500 for the year? Because I think in order to... You're only required to file taxes if you make more than... I think it's about 13000 a year. So like if I had a real job, because Twitch is not a real job, everybody. Then. Easy. But my friend, they got 1200 I don't know what's typical for a refund, but I think the most I got one year was like $400. And then one year I had to pay $900. And that was the year where I worked like 80 hour a week, so I made like, I think like 40000 last year, or that year. But in Washington State, if you make more than 42, you have to, you're considered middle class. That's a big refund. Yeah. But my friend this year, he literally got like 1200 And I was like, what the fuck? 
I only got 2k max. Damn. See, I just don't like how, like, middle class people will sometimes pay more dollar amount than, like, the millionaires. It's not fair. Did y'all- I mean, today is tax day, so y'all better have filed your taxes by now. But what did y'all get? My sister got, like... I think she got, like, $40 this year. <laughs> Rip. I mean, I think it all depends on, like, how much taxes they take out of your paycheck throughout the year. At least try to file early. Well, I like to procrastinate on everything, so I usually would wait till like a week or a day before. Because when you file digitally, it doesn't like matter. It's fine. I got a trillion billion dollars, holy moly. You know, I, I think it'd be great if I could write off all the gifted subs I've given my chat. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. You got $70? That's like... What, five Starbucks orders? Am I right? <laughs> I know whenever I got my, like, federal tax refund, even the year that I got $400, I didn't, like, buy anything with it. I just put it straight into my savings. Like, I know some people will use it on, like, a trip or, like, a new appliance or some tech, but... In my head, if I couldn't afford to buy it initially, then why am I gonna make a big purchase now? Not saying that everybody should not buy a painting this Friday once you get your tax return in the mail. But I, <laughs> I just don't make big purchases whenever I have a mass influx of money. I'm not gonna get beaten by some silly computer. Usually clothes shop? Ooh, that does sound fun though. Oh, what is going on? Yeah, I know when I used to work, every single paycheck I'd go to a wall, or I'd go to like a Goodwill and get some new clothes. Because Oh my god. I'm a socialist, okay? I'm a socialist. But I like buying things. I like consuming, you know? American has broken my brain. American? America has broken my brain. I always feel like I need to buy something. Like, whenever I go on errands or go on walks, I feel like, Ooh, I need to get, like, a soda pop or something. Can you get a recent purchases? Ooh, I did buy my birthday cake. Oh, Kobobo. I'll be able to buy your gift card for Best Clipper probably next week. I'm sorry. It's just... My sister? She's so fucking annoying. <laughs> anyway, I had to give her money. Lamau, no worries. Okay, I just- <laughs> I feel bad. Oh, anyway, so I bought the cake yesterday, and it's so cute! You guys will see it on Monday. I can't share what bakery I got it at, because it would literally leak everything. <laughs> but it's really cute. And what was nice, and I didn't realize, because I put it in my cart like a week early just to see what would happen. Because usually, you know how websites, they'll give you like promotional emails. They're like, oh, you still have blank in your cart. We'll give you a coupon or a discount. So... I put it in my cart, but then I didn't buy it. And then I got a coupon for $5 off and a free cupcake. So I paid $70 instead of $77. Hey, you know? So everybody, if you're like on the fence of buying something- Oh, fuck me! If you're on the fence about buying something, literally almost check out, but then exit out the screen. Because some websites do have like email listings. And I'll just give you free coupons. Cause you know how like Honey the browser extension? We love Honey. Hashtag not sponsored. But sometimes the codes they have don't fucking work. Was it from the price collection? What? 
Is that a joke? I don't... I don't get it. Who got... Someone got Automod. <laughs> Who said a bad word? Look at me. Okay. <laughs> me? Actually, though? Dude, I fell off. Oh, was it from the Pride Collection? Oh, yeah. It's funny, because... It, it's funny, because, like, on the website, it was called the Joy Collection, and it was just a line of rainbow cakes. <laughs> I remember I told you guys, because, like, it said the collection was only available through March, so I called them at the beginning of April. I was like, hey, are you guys still gonna have the Joy Collection for April? And they're like, yeah, it's really popular, actually. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, but it's really cute. I, I, okay. Talking about rainbows. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna try and make like a gay baiting joke and then I couldn't think of anything good. Oh my fuck. This is 200. Back when I first installed TikTok, a lot of my recommended videos were cake decorating ones or cupcake decorating videos. And I was so close to buying a decorating kit. But like, you know how some bakers will have kits that they make themselves and they mail out? I was gonna buy one of them, but then I knew once I started that hobby, I would never be able to stop. Because I think cake decorating or baking in general can get kind of expensive, like getting the tools, the icings. And honestly, I don't need to be eating any more sweets than I already do. So I decided to bail. But I can still appreciate a nice cake. Because I think as with most creators, you kind of have phases in your hobbies. I had a clay phase, I had a painting phase, which is, I guess, my phase right now. Phase clan. Phase up, oh, okay. I had an ink phase, I had a marker phase, and I was like, I'm not gonna do cake decorating. Way too expensive, and I don't want to gain more weight, you know? Eee! Dude, I clutched at the end. Easy. You know what else is easy? Following the channel. Everybody, if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in the chat room. Can we hit our daily follower goal today, everybody? We already got one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not doing that. Okay, should I actually practice with time trials? Because I feel like that's what everybody does to get good. Because anytime that I do play time trials, I get really sad if I can't keep up. It makes me not want to play. You guys want to hear something funny? This weekend, my Pikachu did fall off my chair. Because I basically had to rearrange my whole room in order to take the pictures yesterday. And as I was moving my chair and I set it down, my Pikachu fell off. Happy birthday, thank you. That's next week. I don't 
talk to many people. I have a very small amount of friends. But I think as with any friends that you do have, there's always gonna be one person that you're always like excited to talk to. Cause you know when you get like a text message and see the notification, you're like, oh, I could wait a few minutes to reply. But then that one person you just wanna like instantly get back. It's weird because I didn't really have anybody like that when I was younger, like in middle or high school. Like I had friends, but I didn't have anybody who like wanted to talk to me. So it's kind of weird like experiencing that as an adult because it's kind of the feeling where you're experiencing something throughout your day and you want to tell them. It's like that type of friendship where you want to like tell them everything. Oh my god! <laughs> Fine. Dude, no way! Damn it, I was close. I'm sorry. The reason I was thinking about that is because, like, I'm getting a lot of, like, recommended, like, trauma dumping videos on TikTok, and it's a lot of, like, um, people experiencing, like, extreme trauma. And then showing them like screenshots and like their last text messages, and I'm just like, holy fuck! Because whenever I watch those videos, I'm like, if I were in that like near death experience, it's like, who would I want to talk to? And I'm just like, damn. Ooh, really good acceleration. Cool. This is one of the easier tracks from the most recent wave of the DLC. I think the only difficult turn is this one up ahead on the bridge. Dude, he's actually stream sniping. played Mario Kart in like a week. I'm rusty. I would play like every day, but whenever I play Mario Kart, I have to play for at least an hour. And I don't have an hour. I'm a girl boss now. I can't spend my time playing video games. How do you get the purple drip? You just have to keep holding your right trigger. And then in order to get it faster, since I have an inside drift, all I need to do... Or let me go full cam. So in order to get the drift quicker, you hold down the right trigger. And then in order to get the drift faster, as you're holding it and you're kind of keeping that turn, you move your left directional. That Because what it does is it kind of shifts your steering wheel direction really quickly. You just have to go... And then that gets your drift quicker. Because if you just hold the turn in one direction, you still get a drift, but not as quickly. I'm still, like, learning how to do it. Because it takes a while to, like, learn how to handle or, I guess, steer as you're moving your left directional. Pro strats. I mean, it's like, that is, like, one of the most, like, entry-level strats. <laughs> I don't do any fancy drifts, but that's like the one I can do decently. Yeah, I can see look how I'm turning. It's a very subtle movement you can see. I'm the type of person to where if I hear a new song or a new album, I literally listen to it on repeat until I hate it. I think my current song is Sita Off's Punching Bag. It's a new single they released. I think it's because I don't necessarily 
want to sing, but I like learning melodies and memorizing when certain like tone shifts happen in songs. And I think it's also repetitive things are for, repetitive things are comforting for me, which I know is a sign for other things. But we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that now. Like when the weekend's Dawn FM came. When the Weeknd's Dawn FM album came out, I literally listened to it on loop for a month straight, and I didn't get tired of it. Maybe I'm just crazy, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Have you listened to the Princess Diana remix? Of what? <laughs> what song? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> you do that with albums? Yeah, I usually do it with singles or songs. I think it's because in my head I'm convinced that I'm gonna learn how to sing it that I never, like, commit. Come on! Dude, was there two blue shells? I think there was two there. Oh, I Spice and Nikki? No, I haven't. I I think I saw some of like the promotional pictures though. <laughs> not not that I sought them out. I just saw people like reacting to it. seeing reviews of people talking about the way for the DLC and a lot of the general consensus was like oh everybody's favorite is obviously Yoshi's track but it's so basic when people like it it's just pretty to look at it doesn't have any substance but then I'm like it's so pretty <laughs> and I like how there's a change in terrain it's very nice Oh my god, hi Sinisters, welcome in. Shit, dude! Dude, I look at chat for one second. Hope you're doing well today, man. Dude, <laughs> I should just never read chat, never again. Oh my god, hi Duco, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Dude, I can't. What I do like, if anybody streams games from their computer, you can install an, a Twitch overlay to, to where it'll show Twitch chat over your gameplay as you're playing. And that's very helpful. Like, if there, way, if there were a way I could do that on my TV, that way I don't have to glance down to read chat, that'd be amazing. Because I know some people who have a dual monitor setup, they have to like turn their head to look at chat. That would literally make me throw off. Cause oh, dodge! If I move my head too much, I get nauseous. So it's super easy to like glance down and reach chat. Okay, I'm not even joking. My capture card froze. It went black. Finally. Just get those smart glasses? That would be- <laughs> Dude, imagine walking around town and you got the glasses on and you're just watching like Amaranth stream. <laughs> Dude, I hope those glasses- people can't see what you're seeing. <laughs> oh my god. The only thing I remember about Google Glass is Smosh making a parody video about it. I literally don't remember anything about the actual product. 
But you know, it is the future. I remember I remember when I was little, like my dream invention would be like a paper thin digital map that would track your location in real time. But then I realized, wouldn't that be like an iPad or your phone? It's just not as like paper thin. And that was like little like four-year-old Megan dreaming of that invention. After this pre, we'll do computers. Or... Online. You wanted people to track you? No! I mean, like if I was lost or something, that I could easily find my way around. Oh my god, talking about tracking? I can understand parents wanting to know where their kids are, but I think when your parent has, like, those Live 360 type apps where they track you in real time, I think that's a bit much. Like, I think there should be, like, some level of trust between you and your kid, especially if they're, like, a teenager. Because if you only enforce stricter boundaries, that's gonna want to make them rebel more. Like, my mom... She insisted on installing, like, a Live 360 on my phone when I was in high school. And I literally didn't do anything. I didn't fool around. I didn't loiter. I would just go to school, go home, or volunteer after school. I literally didn't do anything. And then I remember I had to download the app in front of her so she could prove that I did it. And then I just told- I immediately undownloaded it. And I was like, yeah, mom, the app just doesn't work for some reason. And then she just wouldn't check. But I feel like those services, I think they're well intended, but I just feel like it's a boundary that's a bit too far. Like, if there ever is anything that's happened, right, they can easily track your device, like law enforcement has that power. But I don't think anybody should be able to track in real time, like, how Snapchat has the function to where you can see where your friends are located if they have the setting enabled. I think that's crazy! <laughs> I think that's kind of insane. I never used Snapchat, so I never had the ability to use that function, but I think it's a bit excessive. Or like, if your partner asks you to like, have your live location at any given time, I feel like that's toxic as well. Like, there needs to be trust, and if you can't trust, then that problem needs to be addressed. You don't need to stalk your partner, you know? Not you using old people not knowing tech to your advantage? You know, sometimes I gotta do it. I never use Snapchat that's for people with friends? Oh my god, too real. Because, like, I only downloaded Snapchat in high school to talk to one friend. And then I didn't talk to them anymore, so I just deleted the app. Oh, like, the times that I did use Snapchat, I would literally just sad post all day. Because I was, like, really sad. <laughs> when I was young. Oh my god, hi, Mac. Welcome in. But I think a red flag is if somebody who's trying to, like, I guess, get with you or somebody's hitting on you and they ask for your Snapchat, I feel like that's a red flag. Because, you know, Snapchat's reputation. Or, like, if anybody asks for your number in public, I don't know if I'd give it out. I'd probably just give them my social media. Because if you give somebody direct access to you, then that's a safety concern I am on. That's why meeting somebody for the first time, don't ever meet them at your house, always meet them in public, never give out your phone number right away. Even if you feel, like, guilted to give out your phone number, don't. If you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. You should never feel bad about hurting somebody else's feelings to make them feel less 
put down or whatever. When you're selling stuff online too? Yeah, I'm like... What if I meet them at a hotel? <laughs> Holy! Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I, um, yeah, I guess that's fine. <laughs> what if I meet them in your room? But that would be your home. They would know where you live then. Best bet is the lobby then? Yeah. Never have s never meet somebody in the hotel room. I don't I don't think not that I've done that. Everybody, I've not done that. I have never gone to a hotel in my life. <laughs> but meeting somebody in the room <laughs> holy <laughs> What am I what am I gonna do? <laughs> How am I not supposed to self report? You know, I've taken, like, weekend vacations with friends and previous partners. That's what it is. Meet them in a disclosed location in the middle of nowhere? Monka W. Meet them in a Taco Bell? I mean, how crazy would a Taco Bell date go, though? You guys would eat your food and then shit your brains out when you hang out after. <laughs> Then you get some real insight into their actual personality at their weakest moment. As they're scrambling to reach the toilet as you head home. Oh wait, but honestly, I think... Like, figuring out their order, like, what they order in front of you. Because I feel like with most fast food, if you're hanging out with friends, you have an order that you'll get, right? And that's kind of normal. But if you buy yourself, you'll probably get, like, the craziest thing. Like, su some super, super obnoxious order with so many add-ons. Oh my god, hi Rose! Hi Titans! Welcome in you both! Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, I was- I was literally just gonna say I'm not doing too bad. Everybody, exclamation shop in chat! Everybody, can we get to a million clicks on the website today? D's nuts mods ban that seriously. 200 CC is way too fast. I'm getting annoyed <laughs> that I'm so good at it. What's the worst place to take someone on a date? I mean, there's a cliche like you know your dungeon. Yeah, funeral home is is not fun either. <laughs> But I think someplace that's kind of uncomfy is a movie date. Because, like, you can't talk to them, you can't socialize. You kind of have to sit in silence for a few hours at max. So even though I think movie dates are the cliche, I think they're, like, the worst. Because I feel like your first date is where you're supposed to, like, get to know them, right? And if you want to decide if you want to do a second date. You can kiss? I never kiss on a first date. Even though I've only dated one person. And it took a week. <laughs> oh, how about a wedding? Like, bringing somebody as your plus one to a wedding? Wait, you know what else? Is bad? Ads. Because everybody, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or... Big or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we're gonna keep on playing. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Also, if you're new here, follow the channel. We're so close to 700 followers, everybody. <clears throat> Ooh. 
<laughs> Sorry, I I read your message, Duco, and I was like, what the I was like, what the fuck? But that's from the last stream. <laughs> I take them to a cat cafe. If somebody did that for my first date, I would literally marry them. I know I'm anti-marriage, but I would literally marry them. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> cat, cafe, cat cafes seem fun. They are. I've only been to one, and it was in Seattle. And it was super chill. I feel kind of bad because, like, the cats, they're, they're trained to be, like, super in engaging and interactive with the people. But then, all I could really think about was, like, how overwhelming for the cats it must be. Like, so many smells, so many people coming in and out all day long. Like, not all cats would be able to do that. And also, the place we went to, the music was kind of loud. And I was like, oh, poor kitties. Like, it's too loud for them. Because I went with my sister and then my roommate, and my sister had a really good time. Because it's not that she loves animals, she only likes, like, a certain few. Like, she loves cats so much. Gigi's. The cat island in Japan. My sister, <laughs> because, like, when she gets home from work, she'll watch TV or, like, YouTube in the living room. Whenever I go downstairs, she's always watching, like, Japan vlogs. Cat Island POV videos. She wants to try and plan a Japan trip for next year. With her and our roommate. Cause that's literally like her her travel goals, you know, going to the cat island. Ain't no way! <laughs> B-word island? No? You mean Pleasant Island? Dude, I got beaten by my old father. My nose was itching the whole race and I was getting annoyed. Guys, exclamation shop in chat. Go bookmark my website today. Okay, did anybody actually bookmark it? Because, <laughs> like, I'm actually, like, trolling but not trolling. All I know is that People tell you to bookmark things. Oh, it's over. How do you move your overlay with everything? Oh, I... I'll tell you another time, Mac. I forgot. I just... I have different scenes. Or you can group all your items together, too. Okay, online, everybody! My goal is to get to rank 10,000 today. You write on books? No. I don't like the people who write in books. Like, there are a few kids in my class Okay, they wouldn't do this in textbooks, mind you, but like if we had like an assigned reading, they would buy their own copy of the book and then write notes in it. Which I understand the merits to it, like that's how some people learn, like by annotating. But I could never bring myself to like, want to annotate a book, even if it's a book that I own. I don't know. It, it feels, to me, disrespectful to the book. Which sounds, like, very, like, childish. But I give... I don't give sentimental meaning to things. I just give value in the sense of someone made this, so I should appreciate it. I love when people write the answers in the math books. Dude, they're real ones. <laughs> Dude, me bottom right is kind of cute. Holy. It doesn't have feelings. It's mass manufactured. Are, are you trying to shit on me for being a romantic? Come on. 
way to choose mine. Easy. Wait, was this 100? Oh, it's 150. I thought it gave me 100 CC. And I was like, cringe. I only have two months left of college. I'm so close. <laughs> okay. God damn it. Wait, is that Mega Man? Holy. He's been third, holy shit! But I just realized I don't have money to give Chad a sub today. Um, um... Okay, that was not on purpose. Cause like, for my college, they do offer in-person graduations because they host a graduation cer ceremony every quarter. Cause some people start halfway through the year, right? But since I'm in Washington and the campus is out of state for me, it's kind of like, do I even want to attend the virtual graduation? I can just get my certificate in the mail and I'm fine. Or my diploma, not my certificate, holy. I feel like graduation is only fun if people you know are there. Cause I remember from my high school graduation, like, I, I went, and the only fun part was, like, saying goodbye to everybody after. But what is my favorite Papa's game? I loved the Freezeria game, cause I liked how you could decorate the lobby, and also, I just love ice cream. I remember I was watching Germa play it on stream last week. <laughs> so I kinda wanna play the game again. I have played Papa's Pizzeria on stream. And I think the glory about those type of games is that you can kind of just like zone out and just make the food. And I feel like that's also kind of the appeal to just regular service fast food jobs. Is if you get good enough at making the product, it's actually kind of fun. Your college does graduation by majors? That sucks. What kind of deal? Oh, take a jungle, easy. Wait, what place did I get? I wasn't paying attention. I was actually doing pretty well. And then I, I blinked. Am I ever gonna play Animal Crossing again? Um, do you want the nice answer or the truth? I just realized my chair is a bit low. There we go. I mean, maybe. It's just like, with Animal Crossing, it's kind of once you get the five-star island, it's like, what's the point? I, I, I enjoy games that give me direction. Because if I, if I don't have like a set path or direction, I just feel lost and then I feel like I'm wasting my time and I don't have a lot of time, but then I also have so much time. But I don't want to feel like I'm wasting my time. somebody's name and it gives you like an ick 
Like someone you remember from school, or someone, a co-worker you didn't like. There's a few names of co-workers that the moment I see it in like a username or just like in a Twitch chat, I'm like, I instantly remember that person and I'm just like, ugh. Hopefully I'm nobody's egg. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm not gonna say the names. And it's also kind of funny because it's similar with like initials too. Like you guys ever get recommended the videos where they're like, ooh, this initial secretly likes you. And then it stalls for like 20 seconds and then it finally writes the initial. I've been getting a lot of K videos. And every time I see the initial K, I think of Kim in chat and I'm like, what did Kim do? Or like the one I get all the time is like, this person secretly hates you. And then it has a K. But I have like no K person in my life. And I can't remember. Oh wait, cutely. <laughs> oh shit. No! Mods. Delete that. <laughs> Damn it. That race wasn't going well anyway. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm rocking the primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. This letter is trying to egg your house. Hey! <laughs> Thank you for the follow! Plus one, everybody! Thank you! Okay, I'm gonna close the game and... ...reopen it, because it should not be crashing. God, is that Sonic? Oh my god. It's really funny when people try to make the really obscure me's. I would never do it myself, but that guy is just like a, a dot in the middle of their head. of being an adult is being able to buy things for yourself. I remember when I was little, we would go to the grocery store and they would have this rainbow jelly. I have no idea what it was. It's kind of like, you know, Americans have like random sweet things and call it salad. And I remember when I went grocery shopping for the first time by myself, like just buying snacks or buying groceries. I really wanted to try it because I remember asking all the time when I was little, I was like, can I please have the rainbow jelly? And my parents would be like, no. But then apparently they stopped offering it because they didn't have it anymore. And when I asked an associate, they were like, oh yeah, we don't we don't make that in store anymore. And I was like, shit. <laughs> Another snack that I've always wanted was 
I think it's the white and pink like circus animal cookies. I feel like that's another go-to. I had Gushers a while ago, and they're not as good as I remember. But I love being able to buy things and not feeling, feeling guilty about it. You know, if it's your own money, then you can do whatever you want with it. Loser. I love wasting money as an adult. Me too. Back when I had money, I bought so many things I didn't need. Whether it be clothes or snacks. But you know what? That was my money, so I could do what I wanted. Eighth isn't horrible. It's not bad. Should I watch The Last of Us TV show? I've been debating if I want to watch it. Because my friend gave me their HBO login in Minecraft. it's good i'm debating because whenever i watch a tv show that has like existing lore i always feel the need to like look up more information because i have like the obsessive fangirl personality sometimes and it kind of creeps in so i'm debating oh wait small lobby small lobby i have a chance Play the game? Oh, I could never. I'm not good with any type of combating game. What? What platform is it on anyway? Because if it's on the PlayStation, then I can convince my sister to buy it. Th that way I can be like, hey, you can play the game, and then maybe I can play it after. Smile. My sister has the PlayStation, not me. Oh, any console that's mine. The only console that I have is a Wii U that my friend gave me years ago. That's the only console that's completely mine. And I didn't even buy it. Wait, oh my god, I'm in second? Holy shit! Secret path? You need a real console? The Switch is trash? The moment I know I get my own console, I'm just not gonna do shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna play games all day, and that's poxy. Oh, blue shell approaching! I'm actually mad. Why did the blue shell go down the right path? Ew, my luck, my luck. Gamefly? That sounds so familiar. Is that like where they mail you games or something? That sounds so familiar. I've watched people do full playthroughs of The Last of Us. I've just never played it myself. It's been a while since I've like watched somebody play the game. So I, I know like the ending. 
I know the basic plot, but I don't remember like key details. Or like minor details. Okay. Sunshine Airport is my track. If I get it, I will win. I can guarantee it. Oh, just 200 CC though. If I say I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. Okay, I'm gonna try hard. I'm, not, I'm gonna not talk. I'm gonna try hard. Made it. Okay, not doing too bad. Hurts for like one second. Okay, I'll shut up now. Okay, this track is not horrible at 200. This is actually manageable. I keep doing this, that's like, I keep putting a piece I do bra, like unironically now, and it keeps ruining everything for me. <laughs> Could have gotten first. Guys, exclamation shop and chat. Can we get to a million clicks on my website today? Oh, I didn't even look. Shit. That track was honestly not bad at 200. It wasn't horrible. Really bad. <laughs> Gamble. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. I'm eating a lunch at 2 p.m. now. So, no, not yet. Can we get some yo's? <laughs> Next week's tournament on Monday at 3 p.m. will be 200 cc, so everybody be practicing. It, this track is insane at 200. <laughs> For some reason, it's crazy. I'm happy that I'm getting more 200 matches, though. Because 200 CC is kind of insufferable with online, but it's difficult for everybody. Like, usually, everybody struggles.
The first is only right there. Dude, I'm gripping my controller so hard right now. I'm gonna get so many blisters. Dude, why is Sonic first? Come on. Guys, if I get first, I will end stream. <laughs> Three men's when I get first. <laughs> Wait. It's a good title, actually. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. Views on the Sonic movie? I think it was fine. Like, it was still, like, enjoyable somewhat to watch. It wasn't too insufferable. Damn it! I've only seen the first one. I haven't seen the second one. Is the second one good? Should I watch it? The second one was way better. I feel like sequels, like, the second movie in any movie franchise will always be better. Because I do love origin stories, but usually in sequels they're able to expand more on character development. And usually get to do more, like, fun stuff in the plot. Like, Shrek 2 will always be the best Shrek movie. Toy Story 2? Really good. You like the Sonic movie more than the Mario movie? You have to be joking. That is not real. You're lying. I think that's the worst thing you've ever said in the chat room, Cokes. And you said some of the despicable things. <laughs> oh. I haven't seen it. Well, Cokes had a bad day. No, I am not biased. Okay, since I'm finally nearing that 7,000 online rank, that's why I'm getting more 200cc matches. I wonder what matches are like when you have, like, max rank. Do you just always get 200? That'd be insanity. <laughs> what an awful team. <laughs> you, you said it, not me. Or maybe I have to, like, sit down and watch the Sonic movie again. Wait. For my birthday, we will do like a Prime watch along. Cause the way it works, you don't need an Amazon Prime account linked to your Twitch. Only the streamer needs to have a Prime account link. So if you're a non-Prime subscriber, you can still watch along. Cause it's technically like, I guess, sponsored by Amazon or whatever. Wait, holy shit, I'm in second! Oh my god, clip it! I'm in first, I'm in first, I'm in first! Guys, if I get first, I end stream. <laughs> Three man's when I get first. I'm- no, I'm not gonna watch Pitch Perfect on my birthday. I don't wanna watch it. No, I'm so close! Oh my fucking god! Holy shit! <laughs> oh... Out of all the tracks, this is not my strongest. But I think since I've played this track so many times, I have it fairly memorized. And I think the the track where it's the S shape is very difficult at 200cc, and I nailed it every single time.
Okay. Meg Esports is very broke right now. But if I get one person who is a non sub type in chat at all today for the rest of the stream, I will give them a sub. First, I need to transfer money. <laughs> so if any non sub types in chat today at all, I will give them a sub. Because you guys know the rules. If I get first, chat gets a sub. Give me- You are a sub mech. You're a prime sub. Nice try. Bozo. First non-sub. Oh shit, I almost- <laughs> I literally have seven dollars. But I will give chat a sub. I just have to transfer it to a different card. Okay, yeah, the deed is done. Oh no. Well, that's because, like, all the money I have is just grocery money. Because Twitch only get paid every month. Look at me, I'm right in the front! Okay, how about if I get first again, I no longer have to give this sub? <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Oh, that camera angle is wild. And I thought Kim was down bad? Well, I'm unemployed while disabled, so double whammy. <laughs> Aware. You know, Kim's got like a... I assume. What's a, what's a neutral way of saying like sugar mama? Or sugar daddy, I don't know. An oiler. Kim is an oiler. Oh my god! Hello, Travis! Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? First time chat! If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me, but welcome in! He's got a TA? Oh no. Guys, don't bang your coworkers or your teachers or just anybody, really. You got a job offer? Holy moly! That's great! Congrats! Okay, you know what would be a funny stream idea? Cause like, I have a few ideas for like, just chatting RPs that I'll break out for a rainy day, right? So I think a funny RP would be a job interview RP. So chat could like, RP as the interviewee and ask me like, weird ass questions. <laughs> I just have to like, maintain composure. I've ever been really asked any obscure questions during an interview. I think the hardest one to answer is talking about a time you overcame a conflict or like a hardship in your workplace. Because not that anything went bad, but it's hard to think of like negative experiences off the top of your head. Because I feel like the most negative thing in any workplace is your fucking co workers! Like that one, like, bitchy manager, or like one co worker who doesn't do their share of work and it's frustrating, right? you sorry i got really mad okay travis gets a sub everybody let me get my computer i cried on the floor for an hour in happiness in happiness please Doing up planes is the worst track. Not gonna lie. My computer's dead. Okay, I gotta wait like five minutes. I'm plugging her in.
Yes, I have two laptops and two phones, everybody. Huh? My finger slipped. Thank you for that gifted sub, Kim. Can we get some wimps in chat? Thank you. <laughs> Rich people shit. Guys, I bought it when I had money. I had money. <laughs> but thank you, Kim. Thank you. You're gonna get your name written at the end of stream. Thank you. Wait. Does that mean I no longer have to give? Thoughts. Okay, the next non-sub to type in chat, you will get a gift and sub from me. But thank you, Kim! I appreciate it. You're off the hook? Thank you! <laughs> Fog you. how it's regulation that allow people to have bob bombs in the inventory. Especially in the airport track, I feel like it's very insensitive. Okay, I don't know where that bit could have gone. <laughs> um, I'm an 11. <laughs> from nowhere. I'm gonna go down the left path, because, you know, why not? I actually hate that path. It's not as fun. You know, sometimes you have a joke in your head and you want to, like, play it out and see what happens. That was one of the jokes that I should just never entertain. opinion that comedy is subjective I think people can make whatever jokes they want to make but you still have to keep in mind the sensitivity of your audience like you you should not be saying like slurs <laughs> in your jokes I, I that's what I think but I think in order to talk about jokes <laughs> in order to talk about jokes that are related to lived experiences of trauma you have to be the one who lived it you cannot just tell stories about people if you don't understand the experience yourself <laughs> Guys, um, we're 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in the chat room. Can we get some more followers, guys? Please. You know, peace in art, myself, is giving away $300 worth of prizes on Friday. Um, click check the pin message, por favor. Is it bad to look at your computer screen with no lights on? Cause like, I usually leave some like warm yellow lights on in my room during nighttime. But like, if you're just looking at your computer screen or your TV screen, is that bad? Oh my god, is that Donkey Kong? I personally like the idea of self-driving cars. 
that to me is literal something of the future, like something you'll see in like a sci-fi book or something. But I feel like in order for self-driving cars to work, then every vehicle on the road has to be self-driving. But since they're AI based, it brings up the question of like morality, right? Like prioritizing the passengers or the pedestrians. And I feel like if there's any form of human choice, like somebody physically driving the car, then it will never work. Have you seen the AI voices? Yes, I have. And I think they're funny, like when people make like the president AI videos. But I'm scared. Like, I'm never gonna upload my voice to like the AI makers. Also, nobody use- don't use people's voices without their permission. Cause like, that can be used for evil. Like, to me, the people making AI voices is kind of like actual supervillain shit. It's kind of wild how far people can use that technology. Because I know when it was first being like introduced, people were concerned about like people making deep fakes of political figures and making like threats of war. Like I don't think it will ever get to that point. Because I feel like there will always be some level of skepticism whenever you're like viewing media. And obviously you would hope that, that media would fact check in those situations. Slid off of me. Yeah, that was bullshit, like actually. Do you think that AI art has utility, but it's still made by exploiting people's work and time? Because I feel like any form of innovation concerning industrialization is good. It just depends on how people use it. Like, how people who make web comics, they'll use like 3D rendered AI backgrounds. That way they can focus more time on paneling and like rendering the actual characters. But when it's using people's original work and mimicking styles nearly exactly, that's when it becomes a problem. Because even if things are worth or are able to be used with fair use, there's limits to what people can use other people's work for without proper credit or licensing. Because at its core, AI art exploits the workers. Because the thing that you'll see with a lot of American innovation economics is the workers will never see the benefits of the innovation. Only the company owners will make more profit by hiring less people, cutting hours, buying machinery. So if the actual workers or the working class do not benefit, then it's not good. And I think that's the true argument or perspective that people don't see when they try to promote or see the positives behind AI or innovation. Because the technology is not made to make the worker's job easier. The technology is made and promoted to make more profits for the company owner. Wait, I'm doing pretty good?
Okay, just stay behind this guy. No! Oh my god! You fell off? Yeah, I got ratioed. I was doing so well. It was like in place for me to clutch. The guy in front of me had three reds. He was obviously holding them to get rid of first and second. I'll get him next time. Um, somebody replay the clip where I got first earlier. Please. <laughs> I always think that bit is so funny. Yoshi's glitching a little bit. Like the lighting on the model looked weird. Okay, this first section I always mess up with. Seemingly so simple. Oh, it's this turn. It's, it's simultaneously too tight, but also a wide turn. It's weird. I clipped you in? Thank you, guys. You know, I need more clips where it's me doing well. <laughs> you know, if you guys only clip bad moments, then people are gonna think I'm horrible at Mario Kart. Which I am... Which I am not. This is my main game, you know. play Mario Kart and feel good about myself is when I play against people who are ass, who are horrible. Sometimes I'll beg my sister to play Mario Kart with me just so I can destroy her and make her feel bad and ruin her day. Otherwise it's not fun. Because whenever I play with my sister and my roommate, they're like, oh my god, you're so good. And I'm like, yes, I am. But then when I play online, it ruins my whole life. It makes me feel useless! I do hate when people say Mario Kart is all luck. It's not all luck. It, there's some semblance of skill. The only luck you really have is your items, but you just need to know how to use them. Who would ever think you're actually bad at Mario Kart? Let's do a poll. Okay, guys, be honest. Am I bad at Mario Kart? Pokemon go to the polls, vote in the poll, everybody. Am I bad at Mario Kart? This will dictate- This will dictate the, my mood for the rest of the day. Am I bad at Mario Kart?
Everybody vote. Use your democratic right and Pokemon go to the polls. Am I bad at Mario Kart? Everybody vote. You should have said that at first. Now I feel bad. So you're saying you voted yes? You're so mean. I don't know. <laughs> Are the haters gonna eat today? <laughs> I mean, now I know which two little shitheads voted yes. <laughs> no ice cream for you. No dessert. Well, see, I got the pink drift super fast there. Me eating ice cube right now, spit it out. <laughs> okay, see, I don't think I'm bad. It all depends on who you're playing with, right? If you're playing with people who are half your level, then you look amazing. But if you're playing with people who are at or higher than your level, then you're gonna be put in your place. So I think I am decent. And I googled the other day, what is- what rank does it mean you are good at Mario Kart? And rank 7000 is decent, but not amazing. Usually once people hit the 10,000 rank, that's when they're like... Oh my god, I'm in 6th! Once you hit the 10,000 rank, that's when you're like, pretty good. I have ice cream in my freezer. I have sorbet, and then I have like... I don't know what, it, what you would call it. But it's like the... I don't- I don't want to say the wrong thing. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Oh, the pelatas. I think is what it's called. Like the kind they have at the store. Yeah, the pelatas. Because I, I got like midi ones from the store. So they're like this big. So it's like the perfect snack size. And they had banana, mango, and strawberry flavors. And they were dipped in chocolate. It's really good. Because I know I'm never going to be able to, like, cut sugar entirely out of my diet, but I'm trying to, like, make my portion sizes smaller. There's also a really nice local Froyo place near me. I've only gone to it once. But it's really good. And they have a lot of, like, low sugar or sugar-free flavors. And me! Oh, this is mirror mode, isn't it? <laughs> That's why everybody rams into the wall. My appetite has no end on most days. That's kind of how I am, too. I'm definitely cutting back on how much, like, my normal portion sizes are. And, like, how... Because, like, when I snack, I also need to watch my portion sizes, too. Like, this was a few weeks ago. Like, I ate, <laughs> like, two-thirds of a whole bag of Cheetos. Which I know chips are like the one snack to where you can just keep on eating, right? But I was like, that's so much fucking sodium that I just guzzled down. So I think I need to get in the habit of like pre-portioning my snacks into like baggies or containers. Instead of just like pouring straight out of a bag. I will- okay. I will never eat snacks straight out of the bag or container. I usually will put them in a bowl or a plate that way I can like physically see how much I'm eating. 
Because I think eating snacks straight out of the bag is not good. It's kind of like if you get yourself a bigger plate or a bigger bowl, you're more incentivized to finish it all. <laughs> Guys, I'm hungry! And have a snack! Have a little snack. I'm barely having breakfast? What time did you wake up? My god, dude. Dude, fuck you! Alright, I got, I got really mad. <laughs> I love Mario Kart. <laughs> Personally, I eat hot Cheetos right out of the bag because I can eat them all in one sitting. Well, that's not good. That's a boatload of sodium. That's not good for your digestive tract. No! Oh, I thought I got lucky because I rammed into him. It's good for my mental health, though. <laughs> True. <laughs> See, I was thinking about it, too. Because, like, I usually give myself, like, one little treat every day. Like, a little candy or a little ice cream. Because then I, I kind of look forward to it throughout the day. I'm like, ooh, I get to have my little treat in the afternoon. And I think when you have periods where you don't have a lot to look forward to, it, you kind of need those little things, you know? Because I was, I was trying to explain to my sister, she's like, why do you keep buying like all these treats? And I'm like, well, you know, it makes me happy. I wonder how many people play Mario Kart every day. Okay, I wanna see. Daily users in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Okay, well, I'm not getting any answers. I kind of want to do the dolphin bike again. That used to be my old favorite bike. Because it's still an inside drift bike, I think. After this race, I'll look at the stats. Oh, wait. Okay, after the ad break, after this race, I think it's finally time to change my bike build. The time has come. I'll let chat decide. You know, everybody keeps giving me shit. I'll listen to y'all for once. When is my birthday stream? On Monday! From 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. I'm gonna spend my whole birthday with chat. Okay, that was, that was horrible. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want any cards. I only want bats. Wait, I'm a third? Hold.
you know, Yoshi's happy and I'm happy. You know who isn't happy though? The non-subs. Because everybody, we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, I will let chat choose my bike build. So if you want to participate, subscribe. Okay. We're changing the title. I'm serious. You guys can customize whatever build. And if it's ass, then it's your fault. How did you remember that whole script? Um, I watch a song stream every day. I've been streaming for almost two years. And it's basically just copy paste in the command, so it's kinda like when you say shit every day, you'll remember it. You'll remember it. So, Okay, today, I will let chat choose my bike build. Is that everybody? Any Nintendo heads in the chat? I only want bikes though, no carts. Me and the homies hate carts. Let's go! Okay, now we can actually see the insight. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do this. I also main bikes. Okay. Feel free to put your bike builds in the chat room. What build should I use? I personally like inside drift bikes. Because I like being able to go basically parallel to the ground. I want a build that has really good acceleration. Because I like going fast. Usually go with the standard with white tires. The big I used to use the white off-road tires. Those those used to be my go-to. This one, yeah, I love the off-road. Try a cart at least once, maybe a million subs and I'll do a cart right now. <laughs> okay, so chatter shatters. I'll test out this build. Oh, it's slightly lighter. Wait, well, okay, for comparison, I need to find my base. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. So this is my normal build. Acceleration at four and a quarter. Fairly lightweight. Mid-range, okay? So you said standard bike with white off-road wheels. It looks cool. It looks aesthetic. Okay, I haven't... Is this like a... I don't know what town. I'm scared. I hate change. I hate change. Everybody else, think of what bike builds you want me to try next. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. It's been forever since I've used big wheels. Oh, I was like, oh my god, I'm going so fast. <laughs> it's because it's 200. Oh, okay. Oh my god, okay. I am not used to... Uh, oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh no, this is so bad! Oh no! I literally don't know how to handle the other pills. Oh, shit. oh no, if I can't even handle another bike, my car is gonna be horrible. Oh, okay. I need to figure out when to drift. Oh 
This bike seems so slippery. I know. I think it's because usually... Because the, the drifts are a lot wider. Because I'm usually used to tighter drifts. Okay, that was pretty good. What I have noticed is that I do have to break more in order to get my turns a bit cleaner. See, like, lap there, I'm doing a bit better. Okay, that wasn't... I, I think I figured out how to use it now. I have to... I guess drift not as soon. I have to wait till like the last second to turn. Because the way I handled the inside drift bike is I would drift, like go to turn way too early. That way I could use the strap to get a purple quickly. Okay. I I never wanted I didn't plan on doing this today. <laughs> yeah, cuz the turns are really wide. Remember the choose your character channel for redemption? I don't miss it. Cuz you guys would choose Wario every time. Maybe I'll bring it back. I think since I've been using the same build for almost a year, I basically have to relearn now. Yeah, I do have to break a lot more in order to get a tighter turn. But it, it's fun, I guess. You change up your build a lot. I like consistency. I like eating the same things every day. Doing the same shit. That's why I stream. <laughs> Let's be honest. It does feel like I'm going faster. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's try a different build. Next chatter. I'll do two races with every build. That one was fine. I mean, it's gonna take me a while to like get used to trying different builds because I've used the same build for a year. The next build. This used to be my default build. Acceleration isn't bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Acceleration on this one is crazy. Okay, I don't like the larger wheels. So while I'm waiting for chat, I'll just cruise around. Yes, I will be hosting a Mario Kart tournament with teams on Monday at 3 p.m. PST. 
Short bike with big orange wheels. Short bike with big orange wheels. Este? This one looks like a child. <laughs> Bruh, I said- Oh, sport? Oh. <laughs> Dude, I can't read. Wait. Sport bike. Oh, da da da! And big orange wheels? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> this one looks stupid! <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's see how this works. Dude, the wheels are bigger than my head! Oh, this is an inside drift bike, right? Okay, this is definitely easier to handle. Big orange wheel sponsored by Coca Cola's Cream Soda. <laughs> Shit. Dude, those orange cream so cool ice creams were the best. Were the strawberry shortcake crumble ones? Oh my god. Okay, I think this bike was an inside your bike. Because it handles very similarly. But since the wheels are slightly bigger, or double in size, I can't get my corners as tight. Easy! go okay it's not portable i think it's because it's an inside drift bike that's why it's not like painstakingly hard to adjust to Made it? Okay. It seems like I'm able to accelerate faster. Like, anytime I mess up, I'm able to pick up speed fairly quickly. Oh 
no. Okay, I did not mean to do that. New build? I don't know. Maybe. I. It's harder for me to get the purple just though. Dude, of course I threw. I, I should have waited. Okay, I actually want to compare the stats. Because this one wasn't bad. Okay, who wants to choose my build next? Put it in the chat. I think I have time for like two more. Because I have painting to do today. Okay, so stats. A card build? We'll we'll end with a card build. I don't wanna do a card build. Okay. Oh that's weird! This one has lower acceleration. But then the speed is a three and a half. Okay, it felt like I was accelerating faster because it has a greater base speed. It's also harder to handle. Huh. Maybe I need to have a build that just has greater speed. Like, is there any way to get your stats maxed out all the way? No? Then why do they have it? That's so stupid. <laughs> used to do the jet bike by hacking any hackers in chat ew carts i don't want a cart Okay, this one has crazy speed. I think this one has the highest speed. Okay, let's see. Next build, we'll have chat choose a cart one to end off. This one feels a bit easier to handle. But also, this track isn't that difficult. This, in my opinion, is one of the easier ones.
It feels faster, but not like extremely faster than normal 200cc. Or maybe it's because that build wasn't too hard to handle, so just in my head it felt slow. Because usually when you're struggling, everything feels like it's going faster and faster, right? Oh, I'm on the wrong... Oopsie. <laughs> you guys couldn't see the... <laughs> because I'm so used to the smaller roller wheels. Those allow for tighter turns, I think. So I just have to adjust. Okay. How about next time we play Mario Kart, which will be Monday for the tournament. <laughs> I'll have somebody choose my build. I'm trying to decide what metrics. Should we do channel points? But I make it like 10,000 points. Because, you know, losing a tournament means something. And I want to win. Yeah, the highest bidder. But we would have to do it after teams are determined. That way nobody can rig it. I've been cursing so much today, I'm sorry. Dude, I don't stream for five days and this is what happens. I become a total degen. Can I choose? I won't be able to participate. Oh, I guess you could be like neutral, right? Hmm. Hmm. Because I was either gonna make it top gifter of the day would choose the build or just make it like 10,000 channel points on Monday. Okay, everybody, we'll do one more race. Who wants to choose my bike build? I literally haven't played a bike since Mario Kart Wii. So. If you want to choose my bike build, first person to put a build in chat, I'll do it. Begrudgingly, I'll do it. How about standard Mario with a standard cart? Oh yeah, we can do Mario. Are there standard wheels? Oh yeah. Let's do this one. Are they gold mine and then... Rainbow Road 64 is pretty good. Oh my god, they copy the movie! Ain't no way! <laughs> okay, this is gonna go horribly. I haven't played a card in forever. Oh no. What if I actually love cards after this? No. Too stubborn. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> they made a game about the movie. <laughs> Holy. Okay, the drifting... I have to learn when to start my turns. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> this is so scary. Okay. I'm not able to get super sharp turns. And that's what I'm so used to. Yeah, cause see when I when I turn, I glide almost twice the length of my vehicle. Also, when you release your drift, it's very hard to get your vehicle straight, so you you boost in the direction your vehicle is facing. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I might actually have to practice offline with a car. You can imagine I play online. Standard build, standard wheels. People are gonna think I'm a fucking scrub. Or like a little five-year-old who just borrow the switch from their older bro? <laughs> Dude, it's the drifting! Oh, I just realized a lot of this track is the anti-gravity too. Normally, I would start drifting here, but see how that was just a wide turn. Oh no. Dude, that sucks. You know what else sucks? Not following the channel, because everybody, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Can we hit our follower goal today, everybody? We're so close to 700. You can anticipate the drifts to be a little later than bikes. I think that's what it is, but it's so stuck in my brain that I have to drift way too early oh no okay we'll do one more one more final race of the day everybody <laughs> so normally with my bike i would start drifting here Yeah, it seems I have to drift almost right before the turn. Okay, that wasn't it. Maybe not so much on this track. <laughs> this is why I don't allow backseat gaming. Half the time they're just giving bullshit advice. <laughs> Dude, just let me learn! Let me learn! ping pong See, I knew the handling styles would be different but not this different it's insane I guess I need to get in the habit I need to get in the habit of maybe changing my build once a month just so I can get used to everything That was despicable. I I hate parts. This is not my sister drives to their apartment. Me too, man. <laughs> I feel her struggle. This is one of those you love, you learn scenarios. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll practice offline. I'm never doing this again. Nah. Well, for the tournament, I'll let chat or one person choose my build. And I'll, I'll leak how on Monday. Is that everybody? 
short stream. I have a lot of work to do to finish setting up the website. So, do not worry. Because we get to do calligraphy. Because we did get a gifted sub today. So, if you are new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and the ability to tap in chat. Also, gentle reminder, I will be hosting the giveaway stream for Peace in Art. Peep the pin message in chat. I will be giving over $300 worth of prizes, including a free painting and gift card, so be here Friday. And if you want to enter that giveaway, save your channel points, because in order to enter, it will be with channel points. Um, I'm going to get calligraphy set up. Everybody hang tight while I get some music on. Because I, I have a lot of painting to do. I actually tricked you. The standard card is actually in the meta now. I wanted to see how well it would go. Is it actually? All I know is that Rosalina is like the new main person you should play. Sorry, that was really loud. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot to change it. I'm sorry. Cancel me. Okay, every exclamation shop in chat. Bookmark my website today. It will be going live on the on Friday the 21st. So go bookmark it today. That way you can easily find it. Thank you guys for redeeming. Thank you. Wait, Cokes, how many channel points do you have? You were saying you have more than Mac. Are you lying? Maybe... Just tell us! Just leak! Because I, I have no way to see if people, how many channel points somebody has. Uh, leaked. <laughs> Holy moly, what are these? Oh, that's paint. There we go, now we're good. <laughs> yeah, spill the deets. What are these? Holy moly! If you give five subs to the channel by the end of April, you will get a portrait card drawn on stream. Wowie. And I will be able to mail them. Not this week, because I'm out of time, but probably next week. I will post on Twitter when I need people's addresses. Okay, okay. No, I think Mac told me they have like a million, so it'll be very hard to beat. Okay, let's do channel point names first. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, how many do you have, Cokes? Just leak. Just leak.
Okay, so that's all the channel point names we have for today. You can still redeem if you like. You have 100k? 100k is still a lot. That's a lot of points, man. Okay, I need to find my pencil. Hey Duku, how many channel points do you have today? I want to see how many you gained in a day. One point seven? Okay. Well, then you'll have enough to get a gift card then. Or enter. Because I think for Friday, I'm going to do um, 1k for a gift card and then 5k for a painting. Maybe I'll do 10k. I don't know, I'm thinking. Because I want it to be like fair. I don't know. I did a hyphen instead of an underscore. Um, what do I do? I have white up. I have white up. What's the most channel points you have in one channel? I have nine hundred and eighty thousand in Hassan's chat. I would have like a million, a million like two hundred fifty thousand. But one day I gambled thirty thousand for the meme because he was playing Mario Party and he kept on losing every single game. So I was like, okay, I'll just keep gambling loose. And then you finally won a fucking mini game. So I lost like 30k and I was really sad. But I've been watching Hassan for a little over two years now. And I he doesn't ha have any good channel for redemption, so... Look, all gone. It's magic. Okay, so we had Kim with a gifted today. What mistake? I don't see any. Exactly. Exactly. Once again, thank you, Kim, for gifting his sub to Travis today. I appreciate it. 
Also, I'll... I'll give that sub another day. I just can't afford it today. I promise. <laughs> okay. Chatters, last call. Last call. If you want to write your name, all I gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Last call. Y'all got five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. Oh, we're Chaco. Keepy poof. Okay, Chaz. I would like to thank everybody for watching. I know it's a shorter stream. Tomorrow will be a bit longer because there is a new indie direct from Nintendo that we'll watch at the start of stream, and then we will be continuing a space for the Unbound, a pixel story game. If you want to catch up on the lore of the game, VOD from last week is published, so look in my video section and you can catch up. It is a pixel slice of life adventure game. Very nice so far. Very nice. Um. I appreciate everybody's patience with this month. I know I've been streaming less, but I've been doing a lot of work offline for building the website, taking pictures, and getting everything how I want it to be. So, if everybody could please, I've been working hard. Go check out the website. I'm partially memeing when I say bookmark it. Just save it, keep a tab open. It will be live on Friday at 12 p.m. But for now, you can follow the socials. I have separate accounts. From my art than my main socials. Yeah, exclamation shop and chat, everybody. My sponsor wanted at least a thousand commands typed in the chat. <laughs> um, I will be live tomorrow at 11. We're doing the direct and the gameplay. And then Thursday, I'll probably do a one-off game as usual. Friday, giveaway stream. Loaded week for you guys. Um... <clears throat> I think that's all. Once again, thank you, Kim, for gifting a sub. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, thank you all for hanging out today. Today was fun. The choosing my bike build was spontaneous. <laughs> I think we'll save that. We'll do that again. We'll, I think maybe we'll do it once a month. Like, just whenever I want to do it. But yeah. Please more? Maybe we'll say. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank y'all for hanging out. It was fun. Wait, also, uh, add time. Real quick, how did the 60 frames per second stream look? Like, seriously, how did it look? I it, Everything looks fine on my end. My CPU is only at 0.7, which is not much more than normal. 6K bitrate, 60 frames per second, no drop frames. So I, I think it looks fine. It looked good on my side? Okay, well, that's good, because Mario Kart is, like, the most, um, I guess, visually hard stream on my computer. Your streams run the smoothest for me? Yeah, it's because I have my processor settings pretty optimized. Because I use a gaming laptop, but I changed all my settings to prioritize, um, since I don't game on it, just to prioritize, like, processing power over visuals. So yeah. Anyway, if 60 frames per second streams work, then I'll keep doing them. It it does require more internet, but I have pretty good internet, so. And I have unlimited. Dude, this music sounds scary. <laughs> The sound. See you tomorrow. Had fun watching. Glad we got to hang out today, Duke. It's a pleasure. Glad to see you back, honestly. <laughs> Hope you had a good time. Gambiting stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I gotta paint for like six hours today. Bye.